looks red too, don't it? A little bit. Let me see. Hold on. Can you see? Great. Yeah. It's reddish. Hmm. Grab like, your phone and take a picture and we might can insert it. Okay. Let me see. It's a hard knock life. That's what I keep hearing too. Because when I look on the... goblins, ghouls, and witches. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Emily the Fine Art Medium. I am a psychic medium who specializes in the paranormal and I am one of the co-hosts of the Lights of Midnight podcast. And the reason I am bringing that up is because we just did a video reaction of Sam and Colby's video, Portal to Hell, and it features Bobby Mackey's. And the reason why I wanted to do this specific content for you guys is because there are some additional things that I left out in the video and the podcast episode that come out Monday 429 and this video will also I guess be coming out Monday by the time I'm done editing it but so I wanted to add some things that I didn't add there and also this is a good reminder to go and watch those videos I'll put them in the cards here so you can get a whole gist of everything that went on. I'm not going to relay the history of Bobby Mackey's. You're going to have to go and watch our podcast episode collab thing that Chas and I did together. So, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but I thought I would just give my experiences because there were some really fucky experiences. I got attacked, guys. I got attacked. I got a scratch on my face here or here. I mean, technically, it's like the way it kind of showed up on the picture is like here and then it went like down. I don't know. Sometimes things just happen, especially when we tap in to certain locations that are really friggin' haunted. Things happen. Just, and I'm clairsentient, so things really happen and I feel them and I this location, I felt a lot. A lot. Because it was so foggy and black in terms of energetic vibration. And there was a lot of black, foggy, smoky stuff that made it difficult to see clairvoyantly. But also, in general, like, even when I remote viewed and was there, because it was so dark and thick... I couldn't see through the stuff. So even though I was seeing things clairvoyantly, it was just so hard to see through the thick blackness. And I was literally going like this. And I show it in the video where I'm wading through the thick, dark energy. And it sucks that, you know, um the place is closing down to be rebuilt. I mean, they'll reopen it eventually, and I don't know if they'll open it back up for ghost tours because I think it's going to be just a music venue. Who knows? People like money. They might, you know, do it for tourist things. I feel like it would still be a good opportunity for them to leave it for ghost tours because regardless of what they do to the building, that energy is still going to be there. And whether they like it or not, they're going to still have a haunting. So they can make it brand spanking new. But you guys, you know what happens when you perform new additions to buildings or any kind of like, I don't know, construction. The paranormal shit gets worse. So either the paranormal activity will get really bad or... It'll die down a wee bit, but it'll still be there regardless. Um, but there's a lot of shit going on in that building. And, you know, Chas and I do dissect certain areas in that building. 
And again, watch the video, because I'm not going to repeat everything that we say there. You have to watch the video. But I will say this. I saw two main negative entities. One was non-human for sure. I'm going to lean towards thought form. And then the other one, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was descended and it's absorbing all that negative energy around it, but it literally looks like a jacked up Freddy Krueger. I'm going to put images of both entities. I'll probably put them on each side that I AI generated. So I did not physically like draw it just so you know. Um, don't want to take credit from something I didn't do but yeah and I'll show you the image that I took from when I got scratched and kind of what it looked like it's kind of like an, an unedited version and then a higher contrast version and then like the square where it zooms in so you have a better feel but so there were some things that I did not mention plus I kind of forgot in that moment when we were recording initially but I want to say it was either the day before or after we did the video I want to say it was before we filmed I'm pretty sure it was before we filmed but I had this astral realm experience where I'm in this wooden dilapidated like internally building and I just see wood like planks of wood just kind of like laying in random places and actually there's a photo of the inside of Bobby Mackey's in one area that looks exactly like it and I had this actual experience before I saw those images because I only saw those images while doing the editing for the video part so I had no idea I didn't look at the video clips beforehand I didn't look at the images beforehand until we were actually recording and then me editing. So to me it's validation for you. Of course you're gonna be like Meh, some of you because you know you weren't there physically watching what I'm doing so you can either take my word for it, believe me, don't believe me. All I can say is I believe me and I know I'm not crazy. But essentially the astral realm experience is I'm with my husband and we're doing an investigation at this wooden building and the way we go into it it's kind of like the back end so you don't see the sign to Bobby Mackey's we just see like a wooden building and mostly the inside and I'm going in there and it's pitch black and my husband's like don't you want to put on a light and I'm just like meh it's fine it'll be fine I'm not too worried like I'm so desensitized that I don't even give a shit I don't even care when I walk into some of these, the only thing that maybe I would care about is physically getting injured because of I'm clairsentient as fuck. And, you know, some of these entities, when they're really dark, really strong, they can affect me physically. And that's the only thing, you know, I get worried about. But it's not like a fear of, oh my god, I'm scared of the entity or the building or the place, whatever. It's not that kind of fear. It's safety precautions, essentially. You know, we kind of state that in the video as well, but when it comes to this stuff, I, I'm i so desensitized, I don't care. It doesn't scare me. And it's kind of, for me, fun and like adrenaline inducing in a way. But so I know like for me in this astral realm experience, to be scared is very out of character for me. And so when I'm in there, it's pitch black and I just get this nasty, like full pit feeling in my stomach. The energy feels thick in my stomach. I don't know. It feels like I'm full of concrete. I don't know. It's so weird. Like my stomach feels like it's full of concrete and that I just feel heavy. Like I'm a little chunky. I'm not going to lie, but I just feel like. I weigh tons in this location because of how dense the energy is and it's just it was the worst unsettling feeling I've ever felt in an astral realm experience other than you know being like jumped by negative entities so they could try to possess me but um, in terms of investigating a location um, on the astral realm that was weird I don't I don't usually get scared anymore on the astral realm and I can tell you that 
it was freaky and I was getting touched and I'm like I don't like this we should probably go but then in the back of my mind I was like no but we got to sleep over still and of course Husbando's like but do you really want to do that and I'm just like yeah no yeah can't make up my mind but I end up in the ashram experience staying and sleeping in that vicinity and just I remember trying to sleep and being poked and like hit and scratched and all that stuff and then waking up and then yeeting myself out of the building and not making it an entire night so there's that so some other major things that happened while we were recording that video I st as chastity would call it I kept getting a lot of cooter pain <laughs> And um, really bad spasms, like painful spasms throughout my body, but majorly through all my legs. Like the leg ones were really bad. And we found it interesting because on Project Fear, one of the guys, I don't remember what his name is, so I'm sorry. Um, he was having leg pains, like spasms, and then he got a scratch. And um, Chastity and, and I were like, well, we didn't see anything physically scratching, but that doesn't mean anything, right? And as we're talking about that, that's when I get the scratch on my face. And to me, that's like validation that he was actually scratched and didn't accidentally do it and not realize it. It looks red too, don't it? A little bit. Let me see. Hold on. Can you see? Great. Yeah. It's reddish. Hmm. Grab like, your phone and take a picture and we might can insert it. Okay. Let me see. It's a hard knock life. That's what I keep hearing too. Because when I look on the... It looks like it's getting redder. Yeah. And I haven't fucked with it. Like, you see me on video taking pictures... <laughs> Right, and at the same time, though, like, the viewer, we haven't cut the video, period, so what yeah. we do is we watch the clips from Emily's computer, but we insert the higher quality clips over, but yeah. so the video will be cut, but we have not made any cuts on the video, and you should be able to see that from the timestamps, um, oh, yeah, even the did the math, yeah. So, there's a lot of things going on, and then I picked up the, the underground, um, passageways or tunnels whatever you want to call it and there's an entity down there that's very like s <sighs> sticky slimy goopy kind of like slides like a snail in a way and leaves like little gooey trails to me that's like the embodying of the negative energy and it's so dense that it can cause a thought form and that's what happened but also you can have thought forms that are a clusterfuck from fractals, aka residual energy of people, um, just residual energy in general, violence, and all that stuff. And it can turn into a thing, aka a thought form. And I think, honestly, from the feelings and sensations that I was having, and now this can't be proven, I don't think, but I feel like there was a lot of us, or at least minimum one event of SA and oh the possession we didn't get to film that video yet so that's going to be an extra one but the position of Carl Lawson yeah mm. the entity from that non-human obviously but I don't want to go too far into that until we do the reaction video for that but I will say I do see the yellow eyes and one thing I did realize with some of these entities they had hats and some of them kind of embodied what mobsters in the 20s would look like 1920s for um the Gen Zers <laughs> the 1920s and they they kind of gave that look and I know there was some prohibition stuff which could explain the tunnels and there's allegedly, or allegedly was, a slaughterhouse there, like, before it became Bobby Mackey's. But again, there's no proof. But that would explain 
a lot of the violence because animals can project fear and those can become thought forms as well but I, I will also say like with everything going on when you have a lot of negative energy a lot of fractals a lot of souls and I shouldn't even say souls because I didn't see any like so Pearl she's one of the people that died 2.5 miles away but she was somebody that frequented there often and she was a part of that whole scene and then you had Johanna which I don't see their souls there they've ascended but parts of their energies have been left behind I in the video or podcast or both I do think I said there's some kind of collector that's collecting the energy which I mean a lot of the negative entities collect negative energy in general to feed off of but this one's very specific in the way that I don't know it collects it kind of differently I don't know it's giving collector vibes and if this place had been the remnants of a slaughterhouse yeah yeah but um, yeah I don't want to go too too far into it but I wanted to just share that actual realm experience that I did have with you guys because I thought it was interesting if there have been any psychic mediums that I've actually gone in Bobby Mackey's I don't know how you did it because I'm already having trouble remotely I haven't even physically gone in there yet so, um, yeah, you know, I think I'm going to cut it off here. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. And I will see you again sometime this week because I'm going to give you more videos because I owe you one at the very least in addition to just dropping this one. But again, thank you guys so much. I hope to see y'all soon and peace out.